Uncharted 4 Story DLC will be revealed at the PlayStation Experience on December 3rd during the PlayStation press conference. This is Raptor News Reactions on the latest gaming news. This is a rumor by Java Meister over on his blog. I put a link down in the description below so you can read it all on your pace, do what you like. Anyway, let's dig into this news. So there was already a rumor that this was going to be announced at this event, but right now we have way more info, which of course very interesting, but interesting to note there will be some spoilers for the Uncharted 4 game so if you haven't played it yet go away don't do it don't watch this video just play the game because it's amazing so you should totally do that and if you want to know nothing about the DLC of course go ahead and skip this video okay are you still with me let's take a look at what this story has to say Java Meister according to an insider source at Sony a standalone DLC for Uncharted 4 a Thieves End will be revealed and playable so if you're going to Anaheim you can play this single-player DLC at the PlayStation Experience. The DLC will revolve around the adventures of Zamuel, the brother of Uncharted series protagonist, Nathan Drake and Sully, a longtime cast member of the franchise. Of course, Sully, we all know him. Samuel, of course, the new guy in Uncharted 4. The reveal will consist of gameplay, a segment, followed by a medley of cutscene footage and concluding with the name of the DLC. This story doesn't have the name, but do we care? No, doesn't really matter. Anyway, the DLC will be standalone. This is interesting because the Left Behind, when it was revealed, of course the Left Behind is the DLC for The Last of Us, the first single player DLC that Naughty Dog did. It was not uh, standalone, but they later released it as standalone. Of course standalone means that you don't need the game to play it. That is what the story says as well. It will tell a self-contained story with Nathan Drake himself, present the hand the reign of the adventuring over his siblings. It also has been disclosed that Nathan's daughter will not be present in this DLC. You just forgot a C here. DL. Anyway. Um, so, sadly, the epilogue will just be there. Maybe for an Uncharted 5 game that we will see in the future, maybe sometime. Hopefully that will be the case. But of course, a thief's end. This is the last game for now. Anyway, back to the DLC. Both Nolan Lord and Troy Baker are reprising their role for the standalone which reportedly longer than The Last of Us critically, critically acclaimed DLC left behind and is internally projected for a release in the first quarter of 2017. Of course, if you haven't played the Left Behind DLC from The Last of Us, do that now. And it was just two hours long. So this is longer, that's great. And it is internally projected for a release first quarter. So from, uh, yeah, from January to March 31st, I think it will be yeah, like the last week of March, yeah, the third week of March, something like that, because they have, of course have a horizon in the last week of February, and yeah, also in March in Europe. So, yeah, they want to get away from that because there are not a lot of other PlayStation exclusive things going on. So, why release them in the same week? Doesn't make a lot of sense, and I think February is, yeah, too soon for this. Anyway, the plan was to talk about the Uncharted 4 survival here. That's a new co-op mission, but they already showed it. And the guy from the article thinks that it was probably because they were about to leak and then Sony thought, okay, let's just do it. Let's just put out the news first. Who knows? This could be the case. Anyway, put a link down to that co-op article as well. Just wave-based mode. If that's your thing, go right ahead. So this DLC news, awesome. Really like the Left Behind. Really liked Uncharted 4, so to go back into that world, learn more about Samuel because, of course, he popped up out of nowhere in the Uncharted 4. Drake had a brother all along. Who, who, who would have thought that? Anyway, to learn more about him, him, and of course, Sully to have him in the Avenger as well. Funny guy, of course, that's super awesome. It will probably be around the $15, $20, something like that. I think that would be a safe bet, depending on how long it is, of course. But I think that it will be a great value. And I can't wait to jump back in. Um, that's of course also nice if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro. They just updated of course the game. And to yeah, play the same game you already played. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But to play this new DLC would be really cool on your PlayStation 4 Pro. I can imagine. Anyway, what do you think? I will have a lot of content up on the about the PlayStation experience. Already have my predictions up. We'll cover the shit out of that event. We'll be on December 3rd. Till December uh, 4th. December 3rd will be the press conference. I will have my reactions up on the channel. So be sure to subscribe. Like I said, let me know what you think about the DLC. 
in the comments down below. Like the video if you did, and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.